Yo, hi there. These comments are from Maydard, and I am Michael Buckoff, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at Stealth, the seven-step system to pass the TOEFL IBT. You just completed my independent speaking practice test number 149. As you know, I have 300. So let me take a look at this one to remember uh, which one it was. Okay, here it is. It says, what is one change your hometown could make which would reduce its traffic congestion? Give, exam give examples and details in your response. So let's hear what that change is. In my view, the European Public Transportation Service uh, is one change my hometown could make uh, which will reduce its traffic congestion. Let's go back to that again. In my view, the European Public Transportation Service uh, is one change my hometown could make, uh, which will reduce its traffic congestion. I'm not exactly sure. First, well, I think you said developing. Let me go first, back. In my view, the European Public Transportation... So it's stress. Developing. Developing. So you want to put de -ve developing. So with, with the stress syllable... Maydar, the stress syllable has to be louder, clearer, longer, and higher pitched. So you weren't exactly doing that with that. So that's why I had to play back uh, your recording two or three times to make sure I could hear it. But it's a good idea. The public transportation. Service uh, uh, is one thing my hometown could make, uh, which will reduce its traffic congestion. First, it will make transportation affordable to everyone and therefore reduce Let's go back. I think you said affordable. Let me double check. It will make transportation affordable okay. to everyone and therefore reduce the use of private cars. For I like the use of therefore. You're expressing a cause-effect relationship there. Uh, in my town, almost everyone owns a car or uh, a motorbike uh, because of uh, the lack of public transportation service. Uh, secondly, uh, it will uh, make uh, uh, buses available and uh, comfortable at uh, any time uh, for us, uh, which uh, make private cars uh, necessary. How about this, which will make private cars unnecessary? All right, so we just listened to it. Uh, let's take a look at your score here. So delivery, some problems with word stress. Uh, I think you can keep working on your tone. Uh, with your pausing, you did a little bit better on this one, but you still have some unnatural pauses and hesitations in there that make it a little bit difficult to understand what you're saying. You had some minor uh, language use issues. So uh, your score here... I'm going to put you at about 2.50 out of 4, 19 points out of 30 on this particular practice test. Now, uh, I'm going to give you a suggestion here. Have you heard of this website here? This is called Toastmasters. T-O-A-S-T-M-A-S-T-E-R-S. -S -E Toastmasters.org, O-R-G. Toastmasters is an international speaking organization located in 20, 122 different countries with over 200,000 members. So I think there's about 15,000 different speaking clubs all over the world. There might be one in your city. If you live in a fairly big city in another country, you should be able to find meeting times for Toastmasters. What is it? Why do you care? Toastmasters is an organization designed to help you improve your speaking and your leadership skills. So if you need speaking and you want to speak in a professional or academic or even a conversational setting, I think Toastmasters.org will be a great place for you on a weekly basis to speak English with other people. So make a promise to me. Join it. Join the group. That's going to give you some good practice and you'll be able to meet with other people who want to practice English on a regular basis, so you'll probably find some good speaking partners. So that would be a suggestion that I'd, I'd like to give you in this particular video. All right, anyway, thank you very much for completing the practice test. Thank you for being one of my students 
and don't be afraid to email me whenever you have questions.